Titanium 2 from Dragon Blogger. Today with a quick unboxing of a new product. This is from Specs Lux. This is their RGB LED strip. This is for your PC. This is a dual strip kit. Each strip is about 15 and a half inches long. It is a three pin kit or a three pin plug. So you will need a three pin five volt. That's the only way it's going to work. If it's a 12 volt, it's not going to work. If it's four pin, it's not going to work. I apologize, guys, but it will not work that way. So just giving you a quick heads up. This has several 12 pieces of magnetic brackets, which you can use with a magnet or you can use with the double stick tape that they have in here also, which is pretty cool. Now, this will work with your regular 5 volt add headers or your VDG headers, which I'll show you guys, show you that kind of a little bit in a second. Now, this is a 5050 RGB LED strip. So, you know, it's pretty normal if you guys have seen it. Let's try and pop this open here. I'll give you guys a couple looks of some of the stuff here. Pop all this out and set that aside. We'll grab the little back plug here. The back shows you some of the brackets and how to use the double stick tape or how to use the 180 degree bracket. So you have a 90 degree bracket, 180 degree bracket, or parallel brackets, which is pretty cool. They're all magnetic or double stick tape. Shows you the little, bracket, the little plugs. It also shows you the Mystic Light. The Asus Aurora, the RGB Fusion 2.0, Azrox uh, Polychrome, and Razer Chroma. So it will work with a lot of different softwares. That is nice. Like I said, it, each strip, here's one strip, is about 15 inches long. Um, you know, you definitely get a nice long length. So you get about 30 inches, but you do have to daisy chain them right here. You don't really need it. You can unplug it. Here's your three pin plug. You know, just a regular three pin plug. The LED strip, it only lights up on this one side, unfortunately, you know, but it's going to be bright enough. You know, plugging it back in, just make sure it lines up. Click, you're plugged. Both ends, you know, if you want to daisy chain more, you definitely could if you really wanted. Now you have your two different sets of plugs here. Your first one is another daisy chain to make it longer. So if you need to put it somewhere else, you have that. We'll show you guys, you know, just grab the pin, the plug, come up here and line it up and it clips in, you're in and you're good to go. Give you a little extra link to get to your header on your PC. The second header here, and I'll show you guys this, is the actual, you know, dual style plug. First you have your LED output, your LED output three pin. This is a three pin, as you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's divided up in there. The other one is your LED input VDG, and it does label it VDG. And it is a three pin, so it's a smaller, little smaller header. These ones don't have no clips, so it can kind of come loose if you want. Then you have your daisy chain, which goes right here to your LED strip. Make sure it's just plugged in correctly to the right direction and it goes in. Unfortunately, what you're gonna see here is that it cannot go the other way. It will not plug in the other way. It only goes in one way. By the time you're done, you have a lot of length here. You gotta hide. Not a big deal. You have 12 pieces of double stick tape. You know, not really need to show you guys that, but I will show you guys this. This is kind of cool that they add these. Not a lot of them out there have this that I've seen and that is your 90 degree bracket but on the back is your magnet now you have a couple 90s I believe there's four 90s here's the third let's make sure and see we will pull all these out yeah there are four 90 degree brackets which is kind of cool here's the fourth right here fourth 90 degree you have several parallels. All your parallels will go in different directions. So you have the stand-up style like this, or you have your parallel that way. No. Either way, they go. You have plenty of pieces, as you guys can see. If you guys watch this, watch. They're magnetic. Nice little kit, quick, simple, you know, from uh, Speclux. 
we're going to try and find something to plug them in. Hopefully, maybe the, if you guys can see the uh, computer over there. We're going to see if it has a three-pin uh, three header. I'm not sure it does. Hopefully, it does. Um, you, that's one thing, like I said, you got to watch out for. Make sure your motherboards have a three-pin header and not a four-pin. Make sure it's not 12-volt. Make sure it's a five-volt because if you overpower it, you're going to smoke these LEDs and you may damage your board. I mean, you, you never know what will happen. Thank you for checking out this quick video and have a great day guys and see you on the next one.